Hi, welcome to the Ransomware Defender for Dell ECS. We'll step through a few of the, the enhancements. But more or less, it's the same look and feel as the Ransomware Defender for, for file. We now integrate both into a single pane of glass, so we'll look at some of the differences here. So the lists, as you add, you'll see there's an option here for ECS, so you enter a bucket and a path. Same thing for a user, you enter the username, you'll select from the list, this is a VDC ECS cluster. Um, so you'll see that's visible here, path and enter the object path and hit enter. File filters, this is all the same. Thresholds, this is all the same. Security guard will enable the ability to simulate an attack against the object store and do the full detection just the way it works except you'll have a set of credentials to add the object store user so this is all going to be the same so let's step through uh, an actual event and see what that looks like so what we're going to do is i'll just quickly show the ecs has been added so you can see that here namespace namespace one and there's a demo bucket. So we will use Cyberduck for this demonstration. So what we'll do is we'll just do a simple demo. We'll just copy some files over. I should highlight it includes behavior-based detection. We'll just do this upload here. We'll do that. So behavior-based detection is a little bit different for, for object, but more or less the concept is the same. All the detection methods will still work with object as they do in the file system, but you can see here object underscore min one, that's the ECS user. If you click on the files, you'll notice the namespace and the bucket are listed. And then of course you can download that to a CSV. So if we go back to Cyberduck at this point, I should no longer be able to access that bucket. So we'll go back here and we'll hit refresh and I get an error. So at this point, that user account has been disabled and now that behavior is blocked and can no longer affect the object store. So what's the workflow to unlock? Well, it's the same process. You basically restore user access. I'll hit submit, that'll start up a job. We can just take a look at that. Here, All right, restore ECS user, and there's the user in the namespace. Now, normally you would go and you'd archive this, so we'll go ahead and do that. Like that. And that's it. So, learning mode will work. All the functionality that exists for the file will also work and function normally for object as well. So let's go back to Cyberduck and see what happens if I hit refresh. And there we go. I can, you know, delete this data. I can do whatever I need to do. That's it. So in this case, even deleting those objects will also trigger another lockout. So we can see that that action also locked out my account again. So we can just go through the process again, restore. It's restored. And archive is recovered. Okay, thanks for watching.